We're going to begin with breaking news from Germany. A new suspect into the deadly truck attack that killed 12 people and injured nearly 50 others in a Christmas market. Law enforcement sources tell CBS News that police are searching for Anis Amri. German media put out a photo of the suspect this morning. He's a native of Tunisia. Sources say he left personal documents in the truck that rammed into the market on Monday. Charlie Daggett is at the scene of the attack in Berlin. Charlie, good morning. Good morning. It seems to be the biggest break since this investigation began on Monday night. Law enforcement officials say that an ID, including asylum papers, were found uh, under the driver's seat of that truck. Again, the suspect has been identified as Anis Amri, a Tunisian national around 23, 24 years old. He was known to police. Now the hunt is on to find him probably armed and definitely dangerous. A killer remains on the loose, and it's unclear how close German police are to catching the suspect or any accomplices. They've asked the public for help, and they've received 500 tips, and the hunt for the killer or killers took on an added urgency after ISIS claimed responsibility. We are learning more about the first victim of the attack, Lucas Urban, the 37-year-old Polish truck driver who was found dead in the cab of the truck by investigators. He'd been shot and stabbed. Ariel Zuarski owns the trucking company Urban worked for. He says Urban drove a consignment of steel and arrived in Berlin at 7 a.m. He was photographed in a diner at 2 p.m. It's the last known image of Urban alive. Urban called his wife at 3 p.m., but by 4 o'clock he was no longer answering his phone. The truck had been fitted with a GPS tracking device. By 3.45 p.m., there were indications that Urban was no longer in control of the truck. It was being driven as if the person inside was learning to drive. At 4.52, the engine was left running for 45 minutes, but the truck didn't move. At 7.40, it started its journey to the Christmas market, traveling just over six miles. Then the truck and its Polish driver were simply discarded after the killer somehow managed to melt away into the chaos. Now, why did it take two days for this identification of the suspect to come to light? There are two ways of going about this. You go after the arrest in the hope that he doesn't realize that he's been identified, or you release his ID to the public in the hope that somebody gives him up. Alex? Charlie Daggett in Berlin, thanks.